Hi everyone, this is Femme and welcome to Tech Deals. I love Logitech. Pretty much all of my peripherals are Logitech branded. However, I've never spent over $100 on any of them. Late last year, Logitech released its Series 3 gaming mice. These included impressive new optical sensors and brand new features. However, they also came at an impressive new price point. Today we're going to be reviewing Logitech's G903 mouse and the associated PowerPlay charging mouse pad. Amazon was kind enough to provide these to me to review ahead of the release of their electronic gift guide. If you're interested in the mouse or checking out the gift guide, make sure you check out the video description down below for all the links. We're going to take this mouse out of the box and really give a good look at it and try and see is it worth the premium price? Let's get it out of its box and take a look. So here we have it, the Logitech G903 with Lightspeed Wireless Connectivity and PowerPlay. This is the forerunner in the new generation of gaming mice from Logitech that do feature both the Lightspeed and the PowerPlay. These are both brand new features for Logitech that they say are going to come in all their next generation hardware. Once I finally got the box open, I have to say, I was really quite impressed with the packaging. A lot of mice that you see nowadays come in those awkward kind of plastic shells. The Logitech is a, for lack of better terminology, quite a presentation when you open the box. Seeing it resting on the molded cardboard here, I was impressed. It just looks really nice. Taking the mouse out of the box, we're able to see that underneath we find our additional hardware, removing this molded plastic that the mouse sat upon. We have our standard instruction manual that shows us what's in the box and how to set it up. Under that, we have our normal charging cable, which is a micro USB charger um, to a USB. I mean, it's nothing that fancy there. In this little box, however, I was a little surprised. I wasn't really sure what to expect. Opening it, however, we see at the top a additional weight for the mouse, uh, change outs for the G keys and of course the connector. The basic features of this mouse include onboard a DPI adjustment between 200 and 12,000 weight control, customizable and programmable G keys. It is an ambidextrous mouse that features both onboard memory and local stored memory. And of course, it's gotta be RGB. I will say however, this is the forerunner of Logitech's brand new generation of gaming mice, and with that, it is not cheap. It is actually Logitech's most expensive gaming mouse, retailing at $150. $150 is super expensive, particularly when other manufacturers release their gaming-orientated mice between $65 and $95, depending on features. So why is the Logitech so expensive? Well, that has a lot to do with three key features. Typically, gamers have preferred wired mice due to the lack of latency between them pressing down the button and it registering on their computer. Traditional wireless mice, they have an extended latency which can impact gamers at a high or even pro level. That's why wirelessness has typically been shunned in the past. However, the new Logitech G903 and the whole 3 Series mice do have a feature called light speed. This is a new wireless technology that really reduces the latency down to pretty much indistinguishable. It's noted at a 1 millisecond, but honestly, I didn't see anything at all. What this means for the high or even pro gamer is that they can free themselves from the constraining wire while maintaining as minimal latency as possible from their mouse commands. This is a great upsell point for any gamer who cares. But in saying that, it's not necessarily that much of a factor for an everyday user of a computer. The next major draw point of this mouse is the functionality that is unlocked by the Logitech gaming software. This allows you to really customize and tailor the mouse to your needs as you're playing different games. You have the option of saving your settings onto both the mouse or locally on your computer. If you save them onto the mouse, you'll be able to take your settings with you as you go to different computers. You have the option of setting different DPI profiles, 
different macros and hotkeys as well as configuring your G keys through these settings. You even have an option to select what sort of surface the mouse will be played on to better the sensor in those conditions. It really is quite cool and for a gamer it is really quite exciting. However, once again, for the average person, are you really going to use this? Hmm, kind of getting a bit of a theme here, aren't we? Nevertheless, let's look at the third point. The last feature that really makes this mouse stand out above its competitors is the fact that it does have wireless charging through the PowerPlay system. But the PowerPlay system is not cheap. It is an additional item you have to buy and put on your desk. Amazon did send me one, so let's take it out of the box and have a look at it. So here we have the PowerPlay wireless charging mouse pad. It so far is compatible for both the G903 and the G703 next generation mice. There really isn't that much to say about this unboxing. I, I opened the box and that was kind of just there. It is nice, however, that Logitech does include you two mouse pad options. You get both a soft fabric mouse and a hard mouse pad. Depending on what you like, you have a choice. Beyond that, you have the power play puck that goes into the bottom of whichever mouse you're using to sync the mouse pad and a cable that connects the mouse pad to the computer. That's pretty much it. What the power play system allows you to do is game continually the mouse pad will keep your mouse charged between an 80 and 95% to keep the lithium battery good. What this means is endless gaming, no wires, no lack of charge. How do we connect our mouse? To use the mouse with the PowerPlay system, you first need to install the PowerPlay puck. This is done on the bottom of the mouse. And that's pretty much it. Turn the mouse back on, put it onto the pad, and you're good to go it will sync automatically. Now that everything's set up, we can adjust the power play pad from our Logitech gaming software. In here, we control various aspects such as the RGB lighting, where we can set it to either cycle through colors or be stagnant on one color. It's pretty much up to you. If you ever get a different power play mouse, you can also change the syncing settings in this program. At a price point of $100, the PowerPlay system is very much a luxury add-on. It's not necessary to run your G903 or 703 mouse. While yes, it does allow you to really play wirelessly consistently as it does keep your mouse charged, it's not necessarily necessary. Once you add the price of the PowerPlay on top of the base mouse price, to really get the full functionality and use of features of the G903, we're looking at over $250 retail, which, let's be honest, is an exorbitant amount of money for a mouse system. So, who is this for? This product is really designed and geared towards the high-end pro gamer. The people who have already spent several grand on their computers who really will appreciate the factors and features that have gone into this mouse. Do you need this mouse if you're simply working on text documents or submitting emails? No. There's a better Logitech mouse for you than what this one is. We will be doing a comparison video of various Logitech mice at different price points with different use cases. Make sure you keep an eye out for that video if you're interested in purchasing a new mouse. Ultimately, the G903 is the gamer's mouse. It's for someone who wants to play without wires, with minimal latency, and who never wants their mouse to run out of power. That is its use case. It is an expensive system, that's no doubt. But for someone who genuinely cares about their gaming and wants a mouse that performs as well as they do, this is the mouse for you. If you've liked this video, give it the thumbs up. If you've loved this video, share it with a friend. If you'd like to see more Tech Deals content, make sure you check out the subscribe button down below. Until next time, bye for now.